Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project online bookstore and this project I have developed in Java, Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. The Spring Boot version I am using 2.1.6 release. MySQL version is 5.6 and Spring Boot and uh, Angular version is 12, right? So for ID, I have used Spring Boot tool suits for developing the Spring Boot application and uh, Visual Studio Code for uh, running the Angular application for uh, yes, developing the Angular application and Jam for MySQL, right? So for port, I am running port 4200. I am using port 4200 for running the Angular application and port 8080 for uh, developing uh, the means for running the microservices, right? So these all technology stacks and the ports and ID I have used for developing this project online book store. So let's start with the functionalities and features available inside this project. That what are the features available? So the project title is online bookstore, and this is a mini project developed in Spring Boot Angular and MySQL. Mini project because it has only and only customer operations. There is no admin login available inside this project, right? So if you need admin login, there is a different project available on our website with admin operations. But this is a mini project. That's why it has only an only customer of resources. The main objective, the main features are available at to cart, product listing, product details, make payment, and my order and my order history, and uh, my account. So these are the main features we have implemented inside it. So let's start with the functionalities go through. So once you run this project, you will get this home page. You can see this, these are some books available on the home page, and these books are coming from the database, right? So if you click on the buy now, then you can see the details of the book and you can add item into the cart. But there's a restrictions. You can't add or you can't buy the product without the login. So login is mandatory for buying any of the product or any of the books, right? So this is about page, this is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. And if you want to change the content, you can change from the codes directly. This is all books. These all books are coming from the database through Spring Boot Microservices API, right? So this is the, these are the list of all books. This is a customer login from here. Customer can log in and customer can perform certain operations, right? This customer can buy the books, right? This is a registration. If you don't have user ID and password, then you can register from here and you can create your own user ID and password. After that, you can buy the books. This is a contact space. This is a static contact space. I'm not saving the value of this contact space anywhere into the database. And I'm not saving the value of this contact space anywhere when we are not sending it above mail and SMS. Now I'm going to log in as an admin. So the user ID is coming at gradesmail.com and password is test. If I log in, I will get this dashboard. You can see these are the menu options, customer can perform, and the above menu has also changed. Right, so home I already explained you this. This is all products, right? All products means all products listed. This is a my cart. This is a my cart right here. Cart is empty because you have not added any item into the cart. Right? You can add item and after that it will be visible here. Right. This is the next one is the my orders from here. You can see all of your orders. So you can see these are the orders page by you. If you want to see any other order details, just click on this arrow and you will be able to see the details of that order. This is a my account section from here. You can see your account details. The same options which is available here in the dashboard, it's also available in the menu. So this is all books, my cards, my orders and my account. From here, this is account. Now I'm going to buy some books because this is the online book store. All books, buy now, add to cart. I have added one in item into the cart. This is buy now, add to cart. Two item into the cart, buy now, add to cart. So I have added three items into the cart. Then continue shopping. I'm going to add more, one more item. So I have added four items into the cart. Now I am going to delete this one. Delete and that item has deleted from the cart. Once you click on the checkout, you will get this cart page, payment page. From here, you can uh, add your card number, right? So this is a dummy page. There is nothing dynamic on it. You can enter whatever you want to add, right? So we are not validating it even. We are not making a type of external hits, right? Once you click on the make the payment, you can see 
your order ID has been created, order ID is 301 and with the three items and total amount you have paid is 1000 rupees. You can print the receipt from here, right? If you want to see your orders in the order, just click on the my orders. This is the last order of 1000 rupees. You can see this is a 1000 rupees order, right? The last option is logout. Once you click on the logout, the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages. So logout, you can see session has been destroyed and menu has changed. Login, session is created and menu has changed. Right? So these all features I have developed inside this online book store. As I told you earlier, this is a mini project we have developed in Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. So if you need any more feature and any enhancement in this project, just put it into the comments. We will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much